Hi there. Now in this video I want to introduce you to the least squares method for working out a regression line for y on x. So what do we mean by a regression line? Well let's suppose we've got a table of data. We've got the x data here and the y data here and the x data is the independent or explanatory variable whilst the y data is dependent on that x data so it's called the dependent or response variable. Now if we were to draw in the usual way a scatter diagram for that bivariate data x and y you'll get something looking like this. Now when it comes to drawing a line of best fit what do we do? Where's it going to be? Would it be a horizontal line, for instance, through these three points here? Or would it be, say, a line like this through those two points? Or maybe a line like this one? Or even this one? Who knows? We've got to have some method of determining what we mean by the line of best fit. Well, the method we use is often referred to as the least squares method. And by that, what we do is we consider what the error is between a point and the line. Like for instance, this point here, it's in error by one unit from where it should be. So we'll just mark that in as one. For these points on the line, this, these would be zero. And for points below the line, these have negative values. This one, for instance, looks to be minus 1.7 units. This one here is minus 0 0.7. And this one here, again, is minus 1.7. These errors, if you like, well, they're called residuals, and I've given them the letter E. Now, for the least squares method for finding the line of regression for y on x is the line that minimizes the sum of the squares of the residuals. So, if you were to do this calculation, then, for this line here, by doing the sum of the squares of the residuals, we end up with a value of 7.27. Obviously, if all our points on the scatter diagram were on that line, we would have 0 squared plus 0 squared and so on. We'd end up with a total of 0. So the line of best fit would clearly be that line where all the points are on it. So the smaller we can make this value, that will be where the closer these points are, in general, to the line. That will be our line of best fit. Now if we turn to this second graph here, let's do much the same process. If you mark in the residuals for this one, you should find that their values are, as you see here, minus 0 0.5, 1, 0, 1.5, minus 1.5 and 0. Is this line a better fit then? Well, if you do the sum of the squares of those residuals, what we end up with is 5.75. So yes, this is a closer line, a better fit line, if you like, than this one here. But is there still a better line, a, a line where we can reduce this value? Well, if you turn to this line here, in fact, this is the line of best fit. If you were to look at all the residuals, as you see here, and square them, you end up with 5.3. And it turns out this is the least value. I'm not going into how that's arrived at, but just take my word for it, that is the least value. Now, based on the least value, it's possible to work out what the regression line is for y on x. It turns out to be this line here. y equals 1.53 
plus 0.4x. Now in the next video what I'll be doing is showing you how we can use a scientific calculator to work out that regression line. So I hope that's given you a quick insight then on the least squares method for finding the line of regression for y on x. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll have a look at that video.